This is the 2024 Chevy Blazer electric vehicle RS and in this video we'll take a look at it inside and out. My name is Joko and welcome to Urban Auto Adventures. Right before we jump into the video, if you enjoy these types of car review videos, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below. It would actually help out the channel a lot and it would, you know, encourage me to create more videos. Now back to our video, starting with our hood, we have a very nice and elegant sportish also hood design leading to our uh, daylight LED running lights. The LED daylight running lights span from one side to the other and you have a very nice welcome lighting, if you may, choreography lighting when you approach the vehicle it creates a very cool effect and they meet here in the center with our backlit illuminated Chevy logo right below the daylight running lights we have our LED headlights with vents that end up here by the tire that also help cool uh, the brakes down right below the emblem we have our front facing camera on the driver's side we have an RS emblem right here a front grille that is a plastic here uh, with a little bit of a slit here to you know help cool down the battery compartment inside here and as well as a very elegant and sportish looking front spoiler now since this is a electric vehicle you do get a charging port located on the driver's side you don't get one on the passenger side but before we go to the passenger side let's take a look at the charging port on this side here so if you approach the driver's side fender on this side you will see two embossed lines here on the side you simply push that and then you will have the door automatically open up and move further you know and move down below to give you access to your charging ports now you do have regular charging as well as fast charging if you remove this cover you can close it so it doesn't fill up with dust obviously now if you want to close it all you do is you simply push on the button right there and that will automatically close the door for you again i will not talk about the battery size and the range you get on the car just yet uh, first i want to go over to the passenger side and explore some of the other features that this car offers so let's just go there and thank you to Web Chevrolet here in Plainfield, Illinois for lending us one of their vehicles so we can do a review. I'll put a link to their website down in the description if you want to check it out. Now back to the video. The 2024 Chevy Blazer EV RS is 192 inches long, 78 inches wide and 65 inches tall. And it has a ground clearance of 7.6 inches. Okay, so looking at it from the side, we can tell that it is a perfectly sized vehicle for a family of four. Starting off with our front wheels, uh, front and back wheels. We have 21 inch wheels with our two-tone design rims. Moving towards the center, we have a trim that is the same color as our body on the bottom, as well as a, another element here, which is the same uh, design and style as we have the charging port on the other side. And even though you don't have a charging port on this side, this is to even out the design, I'm assuming. Moving to our rear view uh, mirrors, we have a very nice and sportish design, an LED turn signal right here, a camera from underneath, and they're also heated and have blind spot detection. Moving forward, we have door handles that are the same color as our body. Next, we have trim around the windows that is also black. You have a matte finish on the bottom and a high gloss trim on top. The back windows are tinted out to give it this mysterious vibe, mysterious look. And last but not least, on the top here, we have our blacked out aluminum rails. Now, moving towards the back of the Blazer, we can definitely notice the sportish uh, look of the Blazer RS version. Starting off with our top, we have a small and very uh, sportish looking rear spoiler here with our LED brake light right here in the center. We have a small window with a small window wiper, the Chevy emblem right here in the center, the Blazer emblem on this side. We have two backup cameras right here. One is for when you're reversing your vehicle. The other one is for the rear view mirror inside. Next, we have our all wheel drive emblem right here and the RS emblem right here. Next, we have very sportish and elegantly designed uh, LED taillights proximity sensors on our rear bumper and a very sportish design of the rear spoiler and obviously it doesn't have an exhaust because it is an electric vehicle now if you want to open up the lift gate the trunk space you can do it by pushing the rubberized button underneath here and as you see we have a automatic lift gate which means it opens up by itself 
Now the trunk space that you get with the Chevy Blazer, it's actually plenty enough for, you know, your weekly groceries and even shorter road trips. If that space is not enough, you also get additional space right here underneath in the form of these, uh, you know, separate compartments, a very deep compartment here actually uh, in the back of it, as well as another compartment right there in the center. You also get two lights on both sides to illuminate your back space. But if this is not enough, you can also put down your seats and we have a 60-40 split of our seats, meaning that you can separately put down this side and this side. Putting the seats down is actually very simple and straightforward. You simply go from one side, pull on the handle here, same here on this side, pull on the latch, seat gets released, you can put it down. And now the space that you get with the seats down, it's even bigger and you know, it opens up a lot more room for larger items or even wider items. If you want to put up the seats now, you cannot put them up from the back. You gotta go around again. All you do is you lift the seat in its place and you go from this side, lift this up a little bit, lift it up in its place. And if you wanna close the trunk space, all you do is push on the button right here and it closes by itself, which is very convenient. Now let's check out the front of this car i.e. the battery compartment. So when you pop the hood, you will be greeted with this flat panel. Obviously, since it doesn't have an engine and most of you, including myself, do not understand much of the, you know, batteries that, you know, these cars come with, there is pretty much no need for you to open the panels up and check anything underneath. The only thing you might need to know is how to refill your windshield washer fluid. And for that, you remove this panel and you can have access to your windshield washer fluid uh, compartment right here. Now, regarding the battery of the Blazer uh, RS, what you get is a 85 kilowatt hour Ultium propulsion battery, which also has the capability of 150 kilowatt DC charging, but it also also has AC charging capabilities as well as a 11.5 kilowatt charging ability. Now, what does all that mean? You can simply plug it in your house if you want to, or you can use the fast chargers available, you know, around you in your area. When it comes to the range of this uh, electric vehicle, you can get between 280 to 320 miles, depending on your drivetrain, of course. Now, since this is a all wheel drive, you get up to 280 miles on a full charge and it achieves a full charge in 9.5 hours on regular charging. All that being said, let's jump inside and see the interior features that come with the Blazer EV. Sitting inside the 2024 Chevy Blazer RS, it can be a little bit overwhelming at first, but you know, once you hang around for a little bit, you get the hang of it. You are greeted with a very modern and elegant design and style of the interior. This particular vehicle comes in a all black interior, and since it has the RS package, uh, it also has the very nice red and blue stitching on the leather, you know, on the seats, as well as on the dashboard, on the doors, which give it this very sportish look and design. In addition to that, you also get these opaque, uh, translucent, if you may, vent designs. And you can see a very nice red element from underneath, which again adds to that sportish look, if you may. The steering wheel has a nice red stitching. You get the RS emblem here on the steering wheel as well, as well as it, it's engraved in the seats themselves. In addition to that, the Blazer RS actually comes with a ton of safety and convenience features. So let's take a look at a few of them. Starting off with our passenger side. Our passenger side features this medium-sized glove box compartment that can fit your owner's manual or even a couple of pairs of sunglasses. Right above it, we have a small open pocket uh, compartment right here. It kind of looks cool actually, but it leads to our infotainment system right here in the center. And we have a 17.7 uh, color LCD touchscreen display with built-in Google as well as built-in Alexa. Now, most of the safety and convenience features, you can access them through your infotainment system right here. Moving further down, you also have physical buttons to adjust your climate control unit here as well, as well as physical knobs to adjust the temperature. Right below that, you have a somewhat deeper storage compartment right here underneath to store your phone. If you pull this back here, you get an even deeper storage compartment with two USB-C charging ports right there, two cup holders, wireless phone charging, and you also get this armrest here and if you open it up you get even more storage inside here 
with a 12 volt uh, outlet right here as well as a USB-C charging port. For your driver you get a heads-up display, a 11 inch uh, in diagonal instrument cluster, you also get a digital rear view mirror, a heated steering wheel with the red stitching here on the inside as well as the RS emblem here like I said before, physical buttons on the steering wheel to control some of the other uh, safety and convenience features, you know, your smart cruise control, forward collision warning, your heated steering wheel here as well, as well as some of the infotainment system features that come with the vehicle. You also get additional buttons here behind the steering wheel to control again some of the infotainment system, as well as a small button right here to check on the battery levels of your car. Your gear selector is this uh, switch here on the side and what you do is you push on the brake and you pull it forward and then down for drive or up for reverse and then you push it on the side here for park. On the left hand side here behind the steering wheel is where you can find your electronic park brake, lane departure warning as well as lane keep assist and you can also control the luminance of your entire dashboard. Moving on to our seats you get these very nice and comfortable uh, seats which are a combination of leather and this very nice uh, soft perforated material. They are vented and heated. You get the RS emblem engraved in the headrest here of the seat. Two-way power lumbar in both seats. Six-way power adjustment in the passenger seat and eight-way power adjustment in the driver's seat. In addition to that, you also get memories for up to two people in the driver's seat and the adjustments include also the adjustment for the mirrors, which is very convenient, you know, for when you're driving and your significant other. We get additional storage inside our door, you get power windows and you have the ability to fold your mirrors inwards from the driver's seat here. Sitting here inside the back seat of the Chevy Blazer RS, it's not as exciting as it is as sitting in the front seats, but you still get a couple of safety and convenience features. Now, one important thing is you get plenty of leg room and plenty of head room if you're a person of my build, of course. Uh, when it comes to storage, you get storage inside the door, this small compartment right here, and you get storage in the form of pockets behind the driver and the passenger seat. Next, we have our center console right here, and it features the two cool vents that we have also in the front, as well as two USB-C charging ports and two buttons to control our heated seats. In the back, you have heated seats, and you get this very nice and soft uh, perforated material with the soft leather, the same that we get in the front seats. And if you want even more comfort during your ride here in the back, you can pull this down so you can get an armrest with two additional cup holders which will make the ride even more comfortable and this concludes our video for today thank you for watching this far make sure that you hit the like share subscribe button down below and if you want to see more amazing car videos check out the link right there i'll see you in the next one cheers